Yeah, I'm having a, a really bad bug problem. Nobody could identify it, and it's in my yard, in my house, my next door neighbors. We don't know what the heck they are. A few of the houses in our neighborhood basically have an infestation of these little black bugs, and they're not ants. And I actually don't know what they are. That's why I brought them in. Hi. My name is Shaku Naya, and I'm an entomologist. I currently serve as the Associate in Extension for Community IPM at the Arizona Pest Management Center with the Department of Entomology. And what you just saw and heard are just a few of the different kinds of enquiries that my team and I receive. Insect ID is definitely one of my favorite parts of my job. But that's not all we do. My position and program are unique because they address the community at large and any member of the community is my stakeholder. I coordinate the community IPM team which is a group of University of Arizona faculty with expertise in urban and public health entomology, turf management, desert horticulture and more. The message we try to get across to people is about IPM. IPM or Integrated Pest Management is a sensible, environment friendly and effective way to solve pest problems. Pests are managed by the most economical means and always with the least possible risk to people, property and the environment. So along with Bug ID, we always try to educate people about these critters and how not all of them are bad and need to be controlled. One of the focus areas of my team is school IPM. We address pest and pest management issues faced in Arizona schools by training school personnel and helping them implement safe and effective pest management practices. Apart from schools, we also engage with many other community environments such as homes, medical facilities, turf and landscapes, tribal communities and many more. Why is community IPM important? Because it focuses on people as much as it focuses on pests. Community environments include numerous sensitive environments that house vulnerable sections of the population in a community, such as children, the elderly and disabled persons. Not only are these groups of people unable to make or implement pest management decisions, but they're also unable to react to pests and pesticides as effectively as normal healthy adults. Thus, pest management efforts in community environments must take these vulnerable populations into account. Application of one kind of treatment for all pests in a particular situation without considering the social, environmental and human health risks can have disastrous consequences. This is where community IPM can help by taking into account the reasons why there are pests in the first place and remedying those situations rather than making blanket applications of pesticides. Most often, these pests can be controlled by making small changes in sanitation, waste disposal, pest proofing and education. For more information on Community IPM, please feel free to reach out. Here's my contact information. 